Uh, hi guys, this is an unboxing of the tablets I purchased uh, recently. Uh, I purchased this one uh, to replace a similar tablet I purchased several months ago. Um, with that tablet, uh, it's actually called Canvas Pro 13 2.5K. Uh, I had some issue with that tablet. Um, I, basically, I could not get that tablet to work in Linux. I think the reason uh, that doesn't work is because there's some mismatching between resolution of the tablets with my main monitor. My, mo my main monitor is 4K and the resolution of the, that tablet is 2.5K. So because of that, uh, the, the pen and the tablet screen cannot align. Um, uh, therefore, I decided to go for this 4K screen. My hope is that by matching the two monitors, somehow the tablets, uh, the tablet pen and screen can realign. That's my hope. But I, I'm not. But I don't know. I will let you guys know later. Um, there are actually several 4K models on Huion's website, and I decided to go for this one. Uh, the number one, the number one reason is the size. The size is still bearable, okay. Um, you can go for much larger size, like 22 or 24 inches, but that will be too large for my desk. And with the 16, it, it just bearable. It's, it's still large, larger than the 13 inch model, but, um, but still bearable, okay. And actually there are two sub models with this, uh, this one, the Canvas Pro 16. There's a standard one and there's a plus one. Uh, with the plus one, the underlying screen is uh, OLED, so it should have a better contrast. And in Australia, with the plus version, it's around $200 more expensive. Uh, Why I purchased it, there was, a, uh, there was a promotion. So basically, if you purchase the, the key down with the, uh, the, the tablets, and the combined price is cheaper is cheaper than purchasing the tablets alone. So I decided to go for this one. Um, that's the background story. Uh, I just unbox it. Um, the package work is very nice. It's very um, it looks premium. And when I opened it, uh, I found that the tablet is actually quite big. Um, although it's 15 inch, you know the laptop 15 inch is is okay size, but with this tablet, it's quite sizable. Um, the reason is that it has very thin, a very thick bre uh, bezel, so that's why it's quite big. Okay. Because with your laptop, the bezel is very thin. Therefore, all those 15 inch, it's still uh, still bearable. But with these tablets, um, although I said previously, you don't need to have a large desk, but I still think it's quite quite big and you will occupy a, a large portion of your desk. So it came with a stand. The the stand is similar to the the stand I had with the 13 inch version. So very simple and a low cost stand then it has uh, several items which are again similar to the 13 inch version the pen is the same as the 13 inch version and it has a pen holder so inside that pen holder it contains uh, around 10 spare tips so you can replace. If you compare this one with uh, a pen holder from Wacom, you will feel that the quality is not there. But again, the price is quite, the price between this one and Wacom is quite different. 
It also contains a um, a pen cover. I don't think it's a leather, but it's a it's it's a cover. Okay. So this one contains a microfiber and also a microfiber a glove made of microfiber. So that means if we use that when you draw on the screen, um, you won't smudge the screen. So you will be your screen would look relatively clean. So that that's the that's the reason for using this glove. And similar to the 13 inch version, it contains a large holder that contains a lot of cables. Okay. So in this one, so actually it gave you one uh, small transformer. Okay. So basically you use this one to um, to power your tablets because sometimes with your laptop, uh, it might not produce enough power via the USB-C cable. So you will need you will need to use this one to supplement the power to the screen. So this one is a three-in-one cable. So that means um, from one single USB-C cable, it splits into three types of cable. And one of it is HDMI cable. Uh, the other one is um, is for power, okay. So basically, you connect that one to uh, to the transformer that I showed you earlier. The last one is for um, for input to the computer. So basically, that's uh, that like like that acts like a wired mouse because the whole thing is just like a mouse, right? So you connect that one to your PC. Uh, I don't quite like this cable because uh, I'm actually using it right now. I like uh, this plug to be 90 degree angle with the straight, uh, straight um, sockets. It's not stable, it's uh, wobbly and also the wire will just make your desk look a bit um, um, not tidy. So actually I order a 90 angle USB-C cable extension to to work with this three in one cable, um, I will let you know, I will let you guys know whether that will work um, with the three in one cable or not. Because it might not work due to uh, due to some compa compatibility issues. For example, if I use that extension, the the screen might not work. So I don't know. I, let's just see. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned to you previously, you, uh, it contains a, a USB extension cable. So use the extension cable to, to, sub, to connect to the transformer. Okay. And, and then you connect this one to uh, one of the three in one cable. So, so to, provi to provide power to the tablets. So those two cables you, you must use, okay? And together with the transformer, you, you have to use those those uh, three things. Alternatively, okay, it contains a USB-C to USB-C cable. I guess if you have a Mac, you can just use this cable with the tablets. So you you can you don't need to use. Uh, the other stuff. So you can just use one cable to to work with your Mac or with your laptop that supports uh, Thunderbolts. Because I'm using a laptop, I, I can't really use uh, this USB-C to USB-C cable. Okay. And yeah, it contains another cable. Um, it contains another USB-C uh, socket. That USB-C socket is just for power. Okay, it's not for anything else. 
in case there's not enough power, you might need to use that, okay? So you connect one USB-C to your USB-C port in your laptop, and another USB-C cable uh, to the tablet, and then to, uh, uh, to the transformer, okay? To provide extra power to the screen. When you take the um, the tablets out, um, it's it's protected by a, a very thin plastic, so it looks shiny. But actually, it's a, it's a matte finish, so it, it it does not have this kind of glare. But because I I order a screen protector, uh, I'm waiting for it. So before. Getting the screen protector, I won't take out the, the protector came with the, the package. Okay. I think I need to produce a follow-up video of how I use the tablets later, so when everything was, is ready, with extension cable, uh, with the, the, the matte screen protector installed, how it looks like, and so on. Okay. Um, one noticeable um, difference between this one and the 13 inch one is the 13 inch one has uh, has um, side bottoms on the left okay but with this one there are no side bottoms besides the power button power on button and at the back there's no rubber feet so when you put it on the desk, so if you're not if you're not careful, you might uh, scratch your back a bit. Okay, as I showed you previously, it contains uh, two USB-C ports. One's for the three-in-one cable. The other one's for uh, the, for power. Okay, for USB-C. And this model is is also considerably uh, thicker than the 13 inch model. The 13 inch model is really uh, thin and light, and this one is quite sizable, quite quite thick. Okay. So I'm basically I'm pointing out that uh, you should put some rubber feet. Uh, actually, I purchased uh, uh, some spare rubber feet from Amazon. Uh, not very expensive, around seven dollars. Okay, so you can just put it on the back. So that's the tablet. Then I just open the key down mini keypad or keyboard. As you can see, the um, the package is similar to the package uh, with the tablets. It's a very simple keyboard, uh, keyboard, and I like quite like the finish. It's a matte finish. Okay. So it has a dial, and then the bottom in the in the middle. And there are um, some arrow keys and, and all other keys you can customize. Okay. And it has a power button, so when, when you press on, it lights up, because it's a Bluetooth device. So it has another another socket, uh, USB-C socket for uh, charging. And it came with some stickers. So once you customize the keypad um, with some function keys, for example, in 
Photoshop, so you can put those uh, stickers on onto your keypad. Yeah. So this is another another set of stickers. So black color, black color. And it came with a cable, a USB C to USB cable. Okay. So basically, it's a charging cable, right? Okay. It's for charging. Actually, I don't know how to use how I'm going to use this uh, keypad. Um, I'm thinking, I'm wondering whether I can configure it to work with Premiere Pro, but I don't, I don't know. Okay. So that's the that's the end of this uh, review. So basically, I uh, purchased a uh, tablets that came with the keypad and that's all. Uh, in the future, I will try to produce more content on artificial intelligence. Uh, it's because I'm constantly working in this area, so I have lots of ideas to share. And besides that, I will also produce uh, contents uh, like product reviews like this one uh, from time to time. And yeah, that's, that's my plan for the channel for now if you like what i'm doing please support this channel by subscribing to the channel and also click likes to the video um, that will really help me to grow this channel uh, to to produce more content okay. uh, again thanks guys for watching and see you guys